In this video, we will go over the use of filters in BERT. Filters can be applied in multiple ways. First, you can add a report parameter for user filters. And next, you can add filters to your specific data set. And then also you can add filters to your report object. Here we're going to use table. So this video is going to focus more on data sets and report objects. So let's look at this data set here. Now, I've, this is a query, but let's, for this example, pretend that we're getting this data from an Excel source. So, how would we choose whether to use a filter in a data set versus a, a table? Now, one, if, if we're filtering for the whole report, let's say, this category is going to a certain department. So you're making a report for each department. You would filter on a data set. But if you had, you're filtering on, let's say, if you had multiple tables in your report and you need to filter on type, you can add those to the table. So let's try one of those examples. We're going to use reseller as our department. So this report is going to the reseller department. I see you can add parameters to your data set also, but for this example, we're going to add a filter. We're going to filter on category and we choose equal to and we can choose a value here or build an expression. Here, we're just going to choose a value and reseller. So now when we preview our results, we only have 13 records showing all for reseller. So now once we save and export this report, the users will only be able to see reseller. Now, Let's go back into the report and we want to first run this report and see what it looks like. And we just have resellers grouped by year and month. So now we want the same report, but we want it broken up into two tables. And let's go back into our data set and look. So we want everything that has a volume discount and seasonal discount in one table and everything else in another table. So we're going to have a discount table and other, all other items table. So we're going to add a filter. Well, let's copy this table. So we're going to have two different tables. So the first table is going to be our discount table and we're going to have type. And for this example, we're going to choose in and we could select values. And to select multiple values, we press shift. So we have seasonal discount and volume discount for this first table. And we go to the next table under filters, add type in, and we can select values again. And for, for this one, we're going to select all the other items.
So let's run that, see what it looks like. Let's just add a page break after. So let's run this report. And the first table we have discounts starting with 2013, 2012, 2011. And the next table we have all the other items. Discontinued product, excess inventory, and new product starting from 2014 going to 2012. So let's say you wanted to replicate this report for your other departments. You're just going to go back in here and change your filter. And we're going to select customer. Click OK. And for here we really have two. So let's go back to our report. And we'll see we'll have one for seasonal discount in one table and one for excess inventory in the other table. So if you couldn't, let's say you were just getting an Excel file and you couldn't do some kind of security before getting to BERT, you could provide your filters in your data set. And then if you need multiple filters in your query, you could add them separately, one in your table and one in your data set. And that's the basic filtering in BERT.